What the tech? Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of What the Tech, the show that puts the most popular mobile devices and apps through a series of unconventional tests, so you don't have to. I am your host John Lim, and with me once again are two of the most esteemed tech heads in Malaysia, Lucas from Laoyat.net, Effie from Aman Zamai. And today, we are heading out to the streets of KL to test out two of the most popular map apps out there, Waze and Google Maps. Well, Effie, in the last round of Paintball Challenge, you guys whipped Lucas is behind. He got lucky. Right. <laughs> and now you're going to use Waze to navigate your way around KL. How do you think you'll fare in this challenge? I've used Waze for quite a while. It never lets me down. Hopefully today, it won't be the first time. And Lucas, are you ready for some revenge this time around? A whistle. But before we head on to the streets of KL, let's talk about some consumer tech news. So October 26 saw the launch of Windows 8, the latest operating system from Microsoft, which is a huge departure from what we traditionally know of as Windows. For one thing, the start button which is on the left corner is gone, and um, what we know of as the traditional desktop icons, that's gone too. And in its place are all tiles uh, in what was known as the Metro UI. Well, Lucas, you've played around with Windows 8 for a while. Um, what's your initial opinions about it? Well, uh, I'm a Mac user, but uh, I've played around with Windows 8 uh, when we do reviews and stuff. And the first thing is that it's really pretty. It's a huge difference from what it previously was. And uh, yes, the tiled UI is really, really a breath of fresh air. Also, I think it's in line with a lot of the manufacturers uh, going in the direction of the hybrid hybrid devices, like uh, a laptop with a touchscreen functionality. Some even have two screens. And Effie, you've experimented with Windows 8 as well. So what do you think are some of the plus points? The plus point is basically if you have a Windows Phone 8 device and you have a tablet that uses Windows 8 and also a desktop, you don't have to relearn everything. You have to learn just one way of using a device and it, it, it applies to all three. So, no longer have the problem of using tablet which is different from a desktop, it's all the same. And there you have it, the opinions of two of the most extreme tech hits in Malaysia on Windows 8. And right now, we are going to our next challenge. So are you guys ready? Yeah, let's go! We're here at DGHQ for the challenge of today, which is to test out two navigation apps, Waze, held by Effie, and Google Maps, held by Lucas. We're just going to use these navigation apps to direct them to four breakfast locations. Well, Effie, I'll be your co-driver for today, right? And Lucas, since you don't drive, you'll be given a driver for today to head to these secret breakfast locations. Okay, so we've started and we're right here just outside of DGHQ. Our first location is uh, Sing Seng Nam Restaurant. If you look at the bottom, if you can see here, there's like five options. Just from using Waze, uh, there's no, uh, it didn't indicate where Sing Sing Nam is. Sing Sing Nam, there's two. The one that we want is the Lobo Pasar Besar, 17 km away. There we go, it's right there in KL City Centre. What I usually do when I use Waze, I would actually choose Google. It states here where it is, so I'm gonna choose here and press go. All right, go, go. Usually when there's a major traffic jam, the, the line will be red in colour. To avoid all this, or you know, to show which are the more congested parts of KL, I'm just going to put layers, and look, there's traffic. Look, and I can tell instantly where the areas of heavy traffic are. Alright, we just got off the phone with Lucas in the other car. And from what, we, well, from what we know is they are taking a totally different route and they are trapped in a jam. KL traffic is always like this, let's turn on the traffic thing again. And as it says, yes, it's all jam, all the red. Jam, jam, jam. Are we winning? Yes, we are. Okay, so we're here at Sing Sing Nam restaurant, as you can see. Restaurant Sing Sing Nam. Uh, we are a little bit late because of the jam, but you know what? Let's go inside and have something to eat. Thank you. We missed a turn. Read up, please. Now. Delivery 
reached your destination. <laughs> so apparently Wei's told us that it's here but I don't believe that we are actually at the right place. So we are probably gonna drive around like crazy people <laughs> looking for where it is. I'm quite pissed we don't get to eat Nasi Lemak Tanglin because Nasi Lemak Tanglin is quite awesome but it's not open because it's all sold out by like 9am in the morning. So, so we're going off to our next location. Got another route which is not bad, it looks quite straight forward. It's like just going straight. What are you gonna say now? I have an excuse. What's your excuse? I drive like a Miss Daisy. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so we're going to the fourth and our last stop. And now we are going to go to search Google for the closest Indian banana leaf rice place. So we're gonna see whether there's gonna be a lot of difference between uh, the two locations between me and Lucas. Okay, so as you can see here, we're coming right up to Lotus Family Restaurant and I can tell you, it was just two minute drive. As you can see, it says it's turn right but the place is actually over there to the left. So luckily, um, John actually you know, <laughs> yeah, actually John saw the place on the left. So, again, uh, ways disappoint us. Hey, we are here first, for the first time. Over there, oh, they make a turn. Hey. <laughs> Lucas, how come, how come you come from that side? Because we came, we went one big round just to wait for you, to give you a bit of chance. <laughs> but then you know we came and you're not here, so I'll be like, ayah, come out. <laughs> We're finally here at our final restaurant in uh, Jalan Gasing. So, well, you found the place quite easily. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Google led me right to the place. Uh, it gave me a, a perfect direction. It even made me. It even gave me the phone number above to uh, call them if I wanted to make a reservation. Now I have to say that even though that we are using Waze, we have to still depend on Google searches because just depending on the results given by Waze, we couldn't possibly find any of the four places. So we are off to DG headquarters uh, after this, where we're gonna wrap up um, our findings about you know Waze versus Google Maps. So we're back from our navigation apps test. Well, Lucas. You won. Using Google Maps, you actually reach to most destinations quicker. Effie, using Waze, I thought you were really, really confident about Waze, you know, leading you to your destinations. But uh, what happened there? From the video you've seen before this, you know that in two of the occasions, the actual location was not actually the actual location in real world. It's actually a few hundred meters to the left or to the right. So even though we are using the same search of from Google database on Waze, we still kind of reached the wrong place, which I don't know why, it never happened to me before, surprisingly. And there were a couple of wrong turns as well, isn't it? So yeah, that is me <laughs> being a very good driver. That's why you call problem exists between user and computer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, you know, between Google Maps and Waze, mm -hmm. uh, obviously these are the two of the most popular apps right now. So Lucas, where do you think Google Maps will move on from here? Google Maps can only get better. I mean, it started off uh, quite a while ago with just normal maps on the browser and look, now it's on the phone and now everything's improving. Can you imagine when Street View comes to Malaysia? You don't even need to you know, be there to know, to know what exactly what you're looking out for. Mm -hmm. So I'll be using Google Maps and no ways for me. Right. <laughs> so Effie, are you still going to use ways over Google Maps? I'm still going to use ways over Google Maps primarily because I drive alone most of the time. And using a Google Map while driving alone is not safe. Not safe. You can see that, right? Yep. Don't try this at home. But what I like most about Waze is actually the ability of you to see where's the police, where's the roadblock, or there's any uh, obstruction on the road which is not available on Google Map. I like that. So I'm going to continue doing it. And hopefully, like Google, they're going to improve their applications in the future. So let's have a quick recap on both navigation apps. Both have real-time traffic info. In terms of accuracy, Google Maps is better, but Waze has turn-by-turn -turn voice navigation. Google Maps also gives directions for pedestrians and public transport. Finally, 
Waze has community-contributed road alerts and the ability to search for multiple results. And with that, we've come to an end to another episode of What The Tech. But that's not the end of it because in the next episode, we'll have more unconventional tests. But until then, you can always tweet us at our handles below using the hashtag WhatTheTech. And also, leave some comments below on our YouTube page. And obviously, don't forget to subscribe. Well, until next episode, guys. What the tech? So whether you're on a long road trip to someplace new, or navigating your way through the crazy streets of KL or PJ, make sure you bring your favorite map apps with you, powered by DG Smart Plan. What's a good other location? Hello, thanks for checking out our videos. Feel free to share it with your family and friends and subscribe to DG TV today. We hope you come back soon. And please give the video a little thumbs up. Thanks.